Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing my Dollar Tree haul for Easter and spring. So in my last video, I took you guys to Dollar Tree with me so we can check out all of the new supplies. And in today's video, I wanted to just share with you everything I found that I'm going to be using for decor and all the supplies for the upcoming Easter DIYs. But before we get started, if you are new here, please do consider subscribing down below. So let's jump right into the video with one of my favorite items from Dollar Tree this year, and it is these plush carrots. I think that these are just such a fun find. They're a nice size, they're really great quality, and they're really beautiful. They have three different designs, so they have the orange burlap, this one here is the buffalo check, and then they also have the gingham. Now, if you guys did see my last video, this is going to be no surprise to you because I did mention I wanted to pick these up that day. I had a fear that they were going to sell out really quickly, and I've already been hearing from some of you guys that they are hard to locate or they are selling out. So if that is the case and you want something kind of similar to that, this right here is a DIY that I did last year. Dollar Tree has these little carrot bags and I just filled them with polyfill and they kind of act as the same idea. And then I just put a carrot ribbon up top. So if you guys have not seen that DIY, I'll leave that video link down below. And Dollar Tree does have those carrot bags this year again. So you can definitely pick those up. Hopefully that is a decent alternative if your Dollar Tree is not stocking these larger plush carrots. Next up are these plastic pastel eggs and these are a Dollar Tree staple. They have these ones year after year, but I do love to pick them up for DIYs. I think that they're really nice. You can even just set them out just like this as a decor item, but they are great to incorporate into a lot of seasonal crafts. These gingham bunny rabbits were a new find for me this year. I don't remember seeing these in the past and I just thought they were really pretty. The colors are nice and vibrant. The back is all felt and then you have the pattern on the front with the bow. They did have three colors. They had blue, pink, and purple. I went with pink and purple and you do get six in a pack. Not even tell you how excited I was to see the pillowcases at Dollar Tree. I had seen these in the past for other holidays on their website and was never able to find them in person. So I was so happy to find them in our last video. We found the blue and the pink. I only went with the pink here because I figured this would fit into my existing decor a lot easier than the blue one, but it is a really nice pillowcase for $1.25. So I did want to take it out of the pack and we are going to put a pillow in it because I wanted to show you guys exactly what it looks like. So here in the front, you can see it kind of looks like the bunny is stitched on, but that is just kind of a faux print. It is all just one piece. Then the back just has a plain burlap design. Now this is designed to fit a 16 inch pillow and I did not have that. So inside here is an 18 inch pillow. So that's why it does look a little extra stuffed. And to make it a bit smoother, I probably could have just went ahead and steamed the pillowcase. I will have to do that afterwards, but I just wanted to show you guys what it looks like. The zipper on the bottom, I was really surprised with. It works great. Super easy to zip open and close. And I think this is just such a bargain for $1.25. These wooden eggs are another Dollar Tree staple. They have had these ones for years, but I am so happy that they keep bringing them back. They had this egg shape as well as the bunny. I did do a DIY with the bunny one last year, so I figured I would switch it up this year and pick up four of the egg ones. Another new item though were these little mini wooden bunnies. You get 12 in a pack and they have a little pom-pom tail, which is just so cute. And I'm not too sure what we're going to be doing with these yet. I have a couple of ideas, but I thought that they were really beautiful and a nice quality. Another Dollar Tree staple are these carrots. Now, I'm not sure if they had this size last year. I actually have just used the smaller variety from Dollar Tree. This one here is the size that I've picked up in the last couple of years. So I saw that Dollar Tree had this larger one, and I decided that these would be a fun alternative to use this year. I did pick up two packs of these wire eggs. So you get three in the pack. This is the pastel one. They also had a different pack that had some other colors. I think it was purple, green, and natural, but I thought that the pastel ones could work nicely in a few different DIYs. Another item I knew I had to grab as soon as I saw it was this Easter tree. 
I actually picked up two. Holiday trees tend to sell out pretty quickly at Dollar Tree, so if you see it, you should probably pick it up because it might not be there the next time you go back. They had these for Valentine's Day as well, and I absolutely love that one, so I figured the Easter one would be just as cute. I did pick up a couple of different things to decorate it with. The first are these LED lights. They had this shape here, which is the egg, and they also had a little bunny one but I was going to get these little foam eggs to decorate the tree as well, so I figured the lights would be nice to match it. I also picked up some of these pom-poms, and I did get a couple of different sizes. So this is the larger one here. You get 18 in a pack, and then these are the slightly smaller pom-poms, and you get 24 of those, just so you can see the size difference. And I am planning on making something fun with these. This carrot cutting board was just such a fun decor item. I had to pick it up. I'm not planning on using this for a DIY. I just think this is so cute as is, but I do have a mini DIY that I do plan on styling with this cutting board. These wood beads were one of the items I had pointed out to you guys in the shop with me that I thought was just such a great bargain for $1.25. You get 60 wood beads in a pack here, and you do have some natural as well as some pre-painted beads. I also picked up some of the window clings from Dollar Tree. I feel like I always am getting the holiday window clings. This year though, they were a little bit different. So I've never seen this before from Dollar Tree, but the Easter ones come in a two pack. So you get two different window cling sets inside of a plastic sleeve. So I thought that was kind of fun and different. I do not remember seeing that ever before at Dollar Tree. Another Dollar Tree staple that I can't seem to ever stay away from is this wood cutout of the bunny. I tend to use this one every year for different DIYs. I do have a DIY in mind for this one though, and I am really excited to share that with you guys. I did also pick up this oval wood base. That one is just from the crafter square, but I will be using it in my DIY. I did also pick up some of the bunny ears. I mean, they're pretty hard to pass up and Dollar Tree had such a great variety this year. I got the blue as well as the pink gingham. I also picked up this carrot ribbon. You might see this one in the background here. That one is the one that they had last year. This year's is a little bit different. Instead of the white background, it has more of a natural background, but I thought that would be great for DIYs. I also did pick up this galvanized bucket. They had two different designs. They had the pickup truck as well as the gnome, but I do have a mini DIY for this one, and I thought this was another great value item for $1.25. It looks really nice. And the last but certainly not least are the bunny wreath forms. So I did get two of them. I have kind of two different ideas in mind. We will be making a really easy wreath with one of these very soon. The second one I am planning on doing something a little bit different, so definitely stay tuned for that. If you guys are not yet subscribed, please do hit that subscribe button because all of the new DIY videos will be coming out very soon and I cannot wait to share them with you all. Also, be sure to hit that notification bell so you're the first to find out when I release a new video. And to subscribe to my channel, you can just click on my picture right here. Thank you so much for watching.